I remember being on my mat during the relaxation session and I couldn't shut up my mind. And I was thinking, oh my God, why I cannot stop thinking? So I became very fascinated about the mind and I just wanted to learn everything about the mind. I started to read any spiritual book which landed into my hand. I started with The Power of Now of Eckhart Tolle. And that's why I became a yoga teacher because I wanted to empower the students to go beyond the mind's limitations. I started to study addictions and to specialize on addictions because I believed that I was addicted to my own negative mind. And when I was in doing the addiction course is when I realized that eating disorders, which I suffered from 30 years ago, is an addiction as well, it's a process addiction. I also became aware of a lot of addictive behaviors I was not aware of. I realized although I have been fine with my addiction, with my eating disorders for years, I was still using food and lack of food to regulate myself, to manage my emotions. And this is the reason why I became very passionate about creating awareness that addiction is much more than drugs and alcohol. I believe that we live, especially now, we live in an addicted society. We are addicted to social media, to consumerism, to our own negative history, to our own belief system and our ideas. Stress and anxiety is an addiction. Social media is a bit addiction these days because during the pandemic, our exposure to the screens increased. And we have all these big companies who know how to hack into our nervous system so we keep going back to the screen to buy more and we keep going back to change the screen more times. With Kundalini Yoga we strengthen the nervous system so we are um, able to manage our stress response and our triggers and also Kundalini is very powerful to rewire your brain, to establish new neurological pathways. And this is what we call neuroplasticity. So your addictions are coping mechanisms, which has been ingrained in your subconscious mind. And you need to establish new patterns of behavior, new coping mechanisms. You need to establish new neurological pathways in your brain. And this is one of the reasons why we also use Kundalini Yoga.